skip over the um, first two, three minutes. I'm going to explain what I do. Two sides of the spectrum. Do you want to call it a bird? Do you want to call it a fish? What is a fish? If you use fish as a word, so before I begin, I just hope I remember. I take words, which are letters. Letters can be called shapes. Shapes can be connected either in chaos or the understanding of their connection to their shape. Which means if I'm going to shape what is chaos and put it to a geometric um, fixation, I will have to include a dot and a dash in order to connect this. If I use a dot and a dash, I will now have coordinate coordinate area. Now that I have coordinate area, I will be using numbers. If I'm going to be using numbers, every number is a word and every words are drawn up with letters and every letters are connections of dots and dashes. What I have left out are angels. Let me say it another way, angles. Another thing about shapes and dots and dashes is also to understand that is as the skeleton of the connection before any form is given to it. How was everybody? My video cut out. So everything I do in my video, now that I described the dots, the dashes, the letters, the words, there are also levels of data numerics that go along with every single number. How do we achieve a number singularly? Now, how do we d d arrive at a number singularly? Okay, not counting the number as a word, but as a number and also what the number can do in art. And there's different fonts for every single number. Now, what can A be valued at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On which level? If we put one to a power, it will always be one. When we add one to each other, it'll only climb by one. When we multiply one by any number, it'll only become the other number. What number is added to one or multiplied by one that will make every other number the same number as one? And that number is nine. Nine times any number added up to a single digit will always equal to nine. For example, nine times one equals to nine. Nine times two equals to 18. One plus eight equals to nine, level two. Nine times three equals to 27. Nine times zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm afraid to bring my camera down, but I will show you here. This will be 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, uh, sorry, uh, 40, uh, uh, 36, 9 times 1, 9 times 2, 9 times. So here's how it goes. We've done the whole multiplication. This level, this level. So you can see level 9 is coming back to level 1. You can see level 8 is coming back to level 2. Level seven is coming back to level three. So this is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. That's your D level. Now, when you add up A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, it equals to 10, one plus zero equals to one. So we have to understand how numbers works. And it does this, okay, with the number one, the number two, the number four, the number five, uh, the number five, sorry, the number um, seven, and the number eight. But it does not happen the same way 
with three, six, and nine. These numbers have a 10 sequence to them. They, these two numbers have a four sequence to them, and this has a two sequence where the first number will be nine, the second number will be nine, where the fourth number will be three, and the sixth number will be six. But here, seven only repeats when you come back to number 10. So we have to understand that functionality. Okay, so now that we understand how numbers work, we also have to understand numbers have, um, they can be drawn up, they can be put on angles. We also use letters and numbers as combinations, and we also use letters to um, say things. I had a C section. Now, are we using the C in, in this? I'm trying to understand, trying to see how I can say it. Anyways, I have double D. Um, levels of, of understanding of what C is, what D is, double Ds, are you referring to a pair of something? Um, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D. Also to note that um, the D is when we have reflection and completion of both sides of the spectrum. S A B C one two three equals to six, B C D equals to nine, and that's inside of what is A B C D equaling to ten, equaling to one. Now, if I add E, okay, and I go A B C equals six, B C D equals nine. The minute I go to C D, okay, this is part five of this video. So my understanding for lines and angles and numbers and how to manipulate them on the different levels. And when I was talking about C and D, D is on one side and C is on the other. It's 180 degrees between all sevens of the cubes. All other movements, okay, one through three, A, B, C is on one side of the cube. DEF is on the other side of the cube. So where is 7, 8, and 9? 7 is a combination between 1 and 6. It is the only true 7 that when I drill a dot, I drill a hole through all the dots, it's the only place 7 will come up. It'll be 7 and 7 representing power, representing the word matter, representing the word uh, Christ. Uh, these words, now you take the mathematics of the word 7. The word 7 equals to 65, and now you're going to do the math with 65. You're also going to do the word 6 and 5. 6 equaling to 52, 5 equaling to 42. Now there's mathematics. 42 is going to divide the gate of the cube. Why will it divide the gate of the cube? Because of the mathematics. 2 times 4, 2 plus 4 equals to 8 and 6. The 8 and 6 are that dividing cube. Here is eight. On the other side, you'll see five and one. This base of this cube, that when you add up one through five, it equals to 15, two through six equals to 20, that's gonna take you on to another realm. The year 2015 in the Hebrew calendar is the year 5775. Now I'm gonna use moons, 13 moons every single year, 5,775 years is 75,075 moons. It's absolutely perfect. What is five? Five can be created by either seven and seven is 14, one and four is five, but base star system math, when the star comes out, the addition and the multiplication, it's one times two, one plus two will equal to three and two will equal to five. Now that is the queen or the 12th. Number 12, number 13, one times three, one plus three will equal to three, will equal to four, will equal to seven. So 12 equals to five and 13 equals to seven. So I'm gonna continue on. I hope my camera doesn't shut off like the other ones have been doing. So when we work this out, we have five and seven. Now the total here is 107 as well it is 17Q. Why is it 17Q to a single digit? 5 and 2 is 7, 6 and 4 is 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 and 7 come together, it's Q, which is inverted to what is J. J is A, B, C, D. So it gets confusing. I know it gets confusing. 
To note, 4 times 2, 4 plus 2 is 8 and 6 equal to 14. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 plus 5, 11 is 41. It works exactly together. The word moon is 57. The word Mars is 51. How are they associated? They're associated to the, to the action that a four-letter alphabet count at 27 per letter as A1, Z26, which means the alphabet ends on 8. But it doesn't end on 8 perfectly. There are 9 and 9 and then 8 numbers. Should it be that way? Should it be 9 and 8 and 9 numbers, putting the 8 into the center, that when I go 1 over to what is um, 9, and then I have um, 8. Let me, how am I going to do 8? I'm going to do it as um, 8, 7, 6, 5, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I'm going to go 9 all the way to 1. I can do it in letters also. I'm going to have to uh, bring a better formality to this. So what happens is 4 by 7 is 108. And the reverse of Mars is the word H-I-N-Z. The H goes along with the S reverse alphabet, the eighth letter and 19th letter equaling to 27. The I is the ninth letter, reversing of R, which is 3 times 6, 3 plus 6, the 360 degrees, goes with I and R equaling to 18 and 9. And if you want to look at the cube, you turn this cube 90 degrees, or you turn this cube 180 degrees, you can keep it on edge and turn it to 45 degrees. Now we're going to talk about the queen. The queen's crown on the deck of cards is on this angle. So we have to understand how movement is. There's an interior movement and there is no entry on this. If there's an entry on here, the entry is this way and this way because we only enter on the flat wall of the door. Everything that's flat we can enter by. We can't enter by the edges unless the edges are cut off and we put a door. This equals to 27. It is B and G. It is also known as the house of bait. It'll create 14 and 9 equaling to 23. And the other number that goes along with that is 35. Right? 5 times 5, 5 plus 5. Okay, will equal to what is 35. So that's your freedom number. Where do we get this freedom number? A, B, C, D, E equals to 15. Now, I'm not sure if I'm getting this right. Let me see this. A, B, C, D equals to 10. A, B, C equals to 6. A, B equals to 3. And A equals to 1. So here and here, we've started over again. 1 and 5 equals to 6. Now, if we go A, B, C, D, E, F, it equals to 21. Okay, this is the letter U, O, J, F. You notice we got two vowels, C and A. Now we got three vowels. Now, if we add the G to this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G equals to 28. 2 plus 8 now equals to A, 1. Again, 28 equals to A, 1. So we went, okay, all the way over to where we had one here, where we have one here, where we have one here. Inside of here, we have here, your 360 degrees to what is 360 degrees over here. This is how the game gets put together. In the word Heinz, we have the H letter and the I letter coming together. Sorry, the H and the I this way. We can also create the H and the I this way and the Z and the N this way, and now we have the star system encompassed in this box over here, right over here. And now the, I just wanted to do this other one like this. We're going to do this, um, then we're going to do this, and we're going to create another one over here. And I'm going to look at this as being 9 and 6, and this is where, um, yes, things that are great, um, I understand that, Britain, right? 
And this is your rotation of what is 33, because 3 times 3, 3 plus 3 is what's going to create what is 6 and 9 mathematically. This is the basic box structure of this. And obviously, it's not finished. There's always more that we can create. I'm just trying to see, do we get this over here? And then we create this over here, finish the format of this. There we go. Did I get the format? Oh, yes. And this star goes down here. This gets over here. This goes here. Uh, this, this one goes here. This one comes down here. This one goes down here. I'm trying to follow the star system of lines. This one will run down here. Um, will we get a straight structure and run and connect the lower level with the upper level? And since we had all squares, are we going to continue it and create the SAR system within every single level? Right? So we understand how the basic math works. And then there's the cube, right? We have to, again, understand the cube. I lost my place. So we're going to get back to 5 and 7. So when we get back to 5 and 7, right, the 5, okay, um, created by 1 times 2 equals to 2, 1 plus 2 equals to 3, right? 3 plus 2 equals to your base model 5. Your 7 is 1 times 3, 1 plus 3 equals to 4 equals to 3. And this is going to give you your base model 7. So now if you take it to the next level, this one will create 5 and 6, multiply it. This one will be 3 by 4 equals to 12. And this one will be 7 and 12 equals to 19. While this one is going to be 5 times 6, 5 and 6 equals to 11. Did I get that? Right? And 5 times 6 equals to 30. 30 plus 6 equals to 41. We now have 41 and 19. And if I minus it, it reduces down to 19. They come out equality on the bottom side. But on the top side, there's a 22 difference. The word ape is 22. If I continue on, multiply 1 times 4, 1 plus 4, it's going to give me 5 and 4. If I multiply 5 and 4, it'll give me 20 and 9. Equaling to 29, it stops there. The house of bait and the spirit inside the birth, you bring them together, you get the angels that are coming up. 39. Now, with 1 and 2, right, we can have 1 and 2, okay, or we can use it as 3, we can use it as 2. So, we can go 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, or 2, 2, 2, 2. We can go 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, or 3, 3, 3, 3. And we can't go any further than that because right on that level, that's um, when we get the new level. On the fourth one, is always a new level. This one can string out 10 times. This one will repeat itself on the fourth level. Three, six, and nine repeat themselves on the fourth level. Nine repeats itself on the second level, and it's to be discussed. One and two is three. Nine and nine is 18. One and eight is nine. Note that when you work in feet and when you work in inches, when you work in inches, it's alpha. When you work in feet, it's beta. One and two plus one and two plus one and two equals to 36. 2 and 1, and 2 and 1, and 2 and 1, equals to 63. 9 times 4 equals to 36. 9 times uh, 7 equals to 63. 74 is energy. 74 is that word. 74 is that word. And 47 is that word. And the math will equal to 28, that word, and 11 is that word. I don't have a, a what's it called for 11 other, other than right now 9 and 2, 8 and 3, 6 and 5 is my 11, or 5.5, right? F sorry, 5.5 and 5.5 is 11, right? But I don't are, see it works out that. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. So this will equal to 39, which equals to that word over here. Or how about, and then 
that word comes into the mind and then um, um, this word comes into it. And then you can have this, 31, 31, and 31 is supposed to equal to 93. We can also have the word Saturn, numeric value added up to 93. But if we went 13 plus 31 plus 13, or if we went 31 plus 13 plus 31, this equals to 57, and this equals to 75. That's what those values go. Now, when we do it with, with, with 12, right, 12 and 21 and 12, okay, equals to that. And if we have this addition, 42, we have that. And that's sun, love, fox, fox 45. And it's also that and that, and it matches up with HQZ also noted to be what headquarters is. So we're talking about this, the numeric value for the moon. We also get the queen and the king. We also get 5775 times 13 moons equals to this number over here, which can also be 12012. All zeros equal to six. It can now be 126216. The diameter of the sun is 2160, which is 1.5. And the numeric when one and five comes together or three and two comes together, it's related to Mars, the arm, the goat. The goat is numeric 43. It's also um, one of the zodiac uh, signs in the Chinese zodiac. And we can get to that another day. But there's a lot, a lot of gaps to fill in. It's not easy to understand what I do. Actually, it's actually easy, very easy to understand everything. It's just hard to, I think, grasp it. Raphael 7286 in the, in the understanding of how everything connects together. See the way the two triangles, one goes in between the area spaces of the circles, the other goes in the center of the area circles and inside the honeycomb they do that transmission rotation exchange and all the feet that come together a diamonds and world's best friend because we're going around and we're rotating in this whatever you want to call it Raphael weights and measures periodic table sports hockey baseball football darts bowling Let's start in the 10th frame. We play one game, but we're in a tournament. We play more than one game. Then we have competitions. So we have to understand how everything works because these are the pieces of parts that makes the gears of the system. And we have to work together. We have to work together and understand. Right now, somebody asked me what my goal is in this. Let's get together and discuss it. Thank you for watching this video.